Keep that. What's up? Yo, we're getting back. Cheech. Cheech. I'll run over. This is a party yeah, place. Where's yeah. New York? Probo, bitch. Fuck. But yeah, so. We're gonna get back. Thank you. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single of the FS Army out there. To every single of the FS Army out there watching around the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. Vontae Adams. Yes, Woo! right. A special guest, uh, wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers. Yes, if sir. I'm Big cheese. That is, that's, that's it. That's, that's right. It. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to find out just, are you a sneakerhead? How much of a sneakerhead do you consider yourself? Uh, I'm one of the bigger ones in the league. I'll okay. Oh, I respect okay. that. That's a statement. I take, I take it serious. All right. Okay. Okay. Serious. Also a cheese head? I got a shoe, I got a shoe room. Okay. So. Okay. That's all, all right. All right. Are you, are you got the best sneaker collection on your team? I got some competition. I kind of fell off for a minute because being in Green Bay, I mean, that's not really the, you, mm. I'm wearing slides every day okay. until I can. Well, now hold that. For, we're going we're gonna to get into that. Yeah, hold yeah, that. Yeah. Hold we're that. talk about yeah. it. Uh, first thing we do want to talk about though is the sneakers everyone is wearing. Walty, what do you got on today? Uh, I got the Adidas Special Wally. Right on schedule. Gary, yeah. Gary sent you those. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, I did the uh, frog. The frog is I guess frog is the brand. Time Nike SB Blazers. Yeah. Oh, whatever. I'm a big Nike SB Blazer fan, so very happy. Shout out my Noah socks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Devonta? What you got going on? Here on Preston situation right Woo! here. Okay. I, I believe. Here on. I, I hope I'm not misquoting this, but I believe he told me it was 200. 49 of them in the world. I respect I that. I got two of them. I'm on the uh, Packer Shoes Reebok Aztrak joints. Mike, not Packer, in the balance. come on the not, show. Not in the balance, despite what it may look like. So that's that's what I'm doing today. That's a good shoe. Um, let's talk about some sneaker news. First thing we want to talk about is the Nike KD12. I believe the first colorway is releasing on April 1st. How do we feel about these? Uh, I'm uh, Honestly, I'm a big fan. I like KD one of the, one of the shoes that that I, I feel like I could wear any of them. Are you allowed to have your own favorite basketball player, or is that like weird being an athlete? Like people take it the wrong way. Nah, I mean, I, I honestly I can't say that I have one at okay. this particular moment. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever seen Wealthy play basketball? There's some footage. Of <laughs> Are you allowed to this say anything right negative here. about Nike? It's, it's, a, it's a better question. Nah, I definitely can't do <laughs> so that. So if you didn't even like the shoe, you'd be like, no, this shoe's great. Not, not on camera. Not on camera. I'll tell, Here, I'll tell say you something crazy about the shoe, and we'll edit it completely. <laughs> All right, but um, it looked like. The, like kind of like you went to the yeah. Nike basketball stuff like a few years ago. Remember when like LeBron's and Kobe's and all that shit was like popping off like yeah. 2010. Like I we, love Bron, but Bron, I never, I never really been a big Bron like like okay. guy. Okay, okay. LeBron like, James come on the show, but PG, yeah, yeah. Bron, shout out to Bron, man. He was he was out there messing around with us last night too. That's oh, nice. Guy, but but nice. did you mention to him to come on the show? Did you? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Next time you see him, tell him come on the show. We love. So him. we're feeling, Brendan. You feeling the show? Um, I like it. I think Nike is kind of overdoing the sunset swoosh thing where they hide the branding a little bit. Sunset. Uh, this guy is swooshes over here. I mean, come on, man. Do you like the shoe? I think it's better than the previous, the previous uh, KD. KD stuff. Would you ball in those? I, I would ball in those, but I like the black colorway. That that does, that's like a, supposed to be like a '90s, yeah. supposed to be like hip hop inspired colorway that they're doing. Let's, there. Let's see if Don C actually works on it, like he said. I Don, was, I was, Don that's C what I wanted. It's like, did Don C do anything with this shoe? Because I can't Don tell. Don C's big capping out here. Oh Lord! Is that Don, what are you cap? <laughs> Don, are you cap? No rap cap. Anyways, getting back uh, into it, the Vomero Five. The one shoe that we've seen kind of come back recently, uh, via LeBron wearing it, Drake wearing it, the Cold Wall, also Brendan Dunn wearing it. Most importantly, is the, Most the important. biggest influence. The, the Nike Vomero Five, <laughs> uh, the shoe uh, first released in 2010. I remember when I was working at Foot Locker, we used to sell a ton of these shoes, or mm. as an actual performance running shoe. Nobody yep. actually wore it. We used to sell a ton of these shoes. Nike retroed it. Now it's like a cool shoe with the whole chunky dad shoe trend. But I don't see why a shoe that was never cool to begin with is now like the cool shoe. I feel like Drake rocked it. That's the wave. That's the thing. Ten years ago, nobody would have put that on. That's a big fact. Okay. Nobody, not not, not fashionably. Mm -hmm. yeah, you might catch a, catch a dude at CVS with him on, but you ain't going <laughs> to You can catch you know him at CVS. But then it changes. You know what I'm saying? You kind of adapt it and, and just get with the time. You you like the dad shoe wave? That's cool with you? That's, you fine with that? I'm really not. Okay. I, I, I like them. It's, it's a couple of them that, that okay. I, I like Are them you on certain people. Man, you just kind of put me on blast right now, but I, I just, I, I got a baby on the way now. Hey! Congratulations. Hey. Congratulations. Hey. That's what's up, Nobody, right? Like 20 people know that. We got to get you some hey, well, now dude. 20 million right. know, because we're the right. biggest right. sneaker show in the world. <laughs> on, nice. On everything. Right? Nice. How do you feel about these shoes, though? Have you uh, seen them? I mean, I, I haven't really seen them, but I don't, I don't really know how he rocking it right there either. 
I'm, I'm happy with these. The, the Drake one, the black the and red Drake one is one really is nice, the one. too. I think it's cool that we're entering an era, too, where a sneaker from, like, 2010 is a retro shoe now. We need to kind of move the, the benchmark forward. You know, we can't keep retroing shoes Air from Max 1985. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It I makes sense that. now. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. The, the time frame has kind of shifted. Moving forward, Zion Williamson. Oof. Oof. Come on. Let, uh, bro, let me ask you, bro. Oh, you out there. It's fourth and eight. What Seven seconds left on the clock. Green Bay Super Bowl, because that's all we only think about Super that's Bowl. It, that's, it. that's where we want to go. Yeah, that's Super the only Bowl thing about yes, Super Bowl, sir. right? Yeah. You're playing against Tom Brizzle. Come on the show. That's who you're playing against, Tom Brizzle. Of course. You're getting ready to bust whoever ass is on the other side of you. Yeah, most likely. And yo, cleat. <laughs> Disintegrates. What? How do you feel, bro? And you you hurt your knee, you sprain your knee. Uh, Not just the shoe split, oh, give me some more cleats or whatever. Yeah, We're gonna yeah, move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't play the rest of the game in the Super Bowl, my nigga. Listen, man, look, it's tough because I'm, a, you know, I'm a Nike dude. Right, yeah. right. I'm about to, right. I'm about to sign an extension with Nike. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. What's, What's the bag? What's that bag like? like? I would be <laughs> the bag. Yeah. Oh, the bag is heavy. It's getting heavy. That's how it goes. Right. As you, heavy bags. Just, All right. Hey, you asked. Somebody gonna get MF one yes. and two. Um, it's gonna be. I mean, as you see there, it's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a cleat change for sure. Right. Because that's a big issue. Right. Because I mean, he messed up the. Paul George, they right. came back into Kyrie's. Look, reinforced. Check this out. You gotta. They don't test these shoes on 6'8", 280 dudes, man. So it's, it's sometimes you get a you get that anomaly where where you just got a big dude blowing through some shoes and you don't really right. see it often. But he's that it, point one. Yeah. He, What'd you think when you when you saw it happen though? Like when he ripped through the shoe? I thought he blew his knee out. I thought it was gonna be way more. Right, <laughs> me too. So when and then when he came back, I mean this is this is separate. But I'm like, why are you why are you playing basketball right now? Yeah. Has, has Nike ever nothing. given you like some some custom built stuff like this to really make sure that? Yeah. Yeah. All my cleats. So so I wear a 13. Mm -hmm. But when I, I go to Nike like once a year and, and, and do yeah, yeah they do the full, the full scan of my foot everything. Right. I got ugly feet. So they gotta really get my shit right. <laughs> right, 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 right. So they um, they did the whole scan. So my my right cleat is uh, what they call it uh, SMU special makeup. Yep. So it's mm -hmm. like a certain certain mm, group of okay. shoes that get to create, design the cleat. Right. I'm talking about put whatever plate I want on it, all yes. of that. So and I go crazy. I max it out. They right, go like, all the way. Well, I got them doing work, man. Right, right, right. Gloves, all of that. How do you how do you feel about uh, you know the relationship? Because one of the things that got talked about this is sneaker brands and universities you know with the big money involved shout out fresno State. shout out fresno you ever meet pat hill just real quick ever meet him he's a good guy my coach i thought you were, i didn't know with the with the crossover yeah no yeah. no we, so you did meet him i, yeah. I, 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 right. I did meet him yeah. but anyways, he brought me in uh, he's the reason i was a one-star recruit Hey. Two offers, man. Wow. It's a two-star recruit, but I mean, if I had two offers, ain't no way that's. Wealthy didn't get right. that far down on the Wikipedia page. Yeah. <laughs> he missed it. I, I, he I, missed crossover. I didn't know if he was your coach for that year because he yeah, was out for, the year. For, yeah. for one year. Yeah. Yep. But either way, uh, how do you feel about you know the big money behind sneaker brands and universities? You know, you see schools like Oregon with the kids getting suspended for, spent, for selling the, the, big the keys and shit. Yeah. How do you how do you feel about like that tricky that tricky slope? It's tough, man. I mean, this whole the whole NCAA as far as players getting paid or, or getting in trouble for taking certain stuff, that stuff is just, I mean, it's not right because these kids, I mean, they get out there. I remember being a starving college kid. I mean, we were getting, what, $800 mm. a month. Eight, I mean, they're getting more, like double that now, but it was like eight something a month just, just to do everything with rent and all of that. Yeah. Is the college looking at it from your standpoint, if you can say this, like, are they looking at it like, yo, it's a privilege to play for Duke? They, I, you know, like possibly that's that's you know, like that's it's a privilege for us to be on complex. That's part of it. And then greed, they just want to they want to be the the money generators. I feel like having having this guy possibly making a bunch of money, and then you gonna have the uh, it's gonna be like this guy one favoritism. It's gonna be maybe three dudes that dominate the money world as far as college football. Right. It's too many people. Did you get okay. flushed at Fresno State, or was it a bit nothing? I'm talking about bare minimum. Damn. You had to work for everything that you got every now. Single thing. Right, that's why right. I said, you know what. I'm gonna just have all the shoes in the world now. I don't really have them growing up. <laughs> right, right. We go want to crazy. figure out, you know, just how much of a sneakerhead you really are. So we do have a little test for you. Oh, you got some. Oh, damn. We want right. to. We want to blindfold you if we can do that. Okay. Yeah, we do that. And then we're gonna pass you a couple iconic shoes, and we want you to tell by by feel and by smell if you need. We got blindfold. It's a brand, little brand right new there. silky right here for you to blindfold um, you. you. Got a little gold on that there. Yeah, <laughs> put a little, little drip on there. A little drip on there. <laughs> Oh, whatever, so let you blindfold yourself, uh, whatever makes sense, yep. you know? You feel confident going Oh, this is a do-rag. Yeah, we, that's, okay. how, that's how we do it. <laughs> we're in the future with it, you right, know what I'm saying? I don't even know how I'm, what I'm going to do that. That's fine. That, that's fine. That, that's fine. You feel, you feel confident about this, Devontae? 
Uh, we'll see. All right. I feel like I feel like I can pull something off. Okay. Hopefully, I don't want to embarrass myself. Nah. Right now. No, 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 nah, 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 Smell and touch. Okay, okay. Smell and okay. touch. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm gonna tie up right now. Let's do it. I don't know. I can't really tie this thing. I, I definitely don't know how to tie a do rag, so I can't help you. No, so. I can tie. I want me to get. You, I get you right if it's. If no, it's, we good. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Like, oh. okay, by, by crazy. Touch it's crazy. It's like when Tal Dia used to rock his band thing, and I'm like hanging out the side. Don't Let's forget. Go. The, the All right. Smell may help you out. Okay. Shoe number one. Okay. It's eleven. Okay. Any. And do you want to smell it to make sure? Confident it's a Jordan 11 and nothing, nothing else going on here other than it being a Jordan 11? Hmm, now you got me thinking. Based off the smell, any, anything with the smell in particular? I mean, I definitely smell some. I don't know what it means to me. Okay. It smells like, it smell like food. What? That just smell like vinegar almost. That's your best guess? Yeah. All right. It's, All right. Uh, it's blue cheese. Oh, okay. We thought maybe <laughs> you'd be a cheese expert, right? You know, yeah, you'd be a cheese head. I thought you. Yeah, I don't do blue cheese, man. No, okay. So <laughs> yeah, that, you were right, Concord Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're right. Also, that's also right. Well, pass cheese. it over. Yeah, yeah, pass it over this way. I got blue you, brother. Was that one. Okay. Oh, next, next, next one for you here. Again, Oof. touch and smell. and okay. smell and smell. Oof. It's more of a wealthy thing than anything. Uh oh. Shell toe. Uh okay. Look at him. Okay. That smells like some more cheese. <laughs> Why do you, where, how much cheese y'all got right here? I mean, here? you know, Green Bay. Is well, we are kind of rich. That's Gouda. Gouda. You were right on the Shelto thing, but I, I think the, sh the cheese is called Epoisson. Or ep, ep, Epoisson. Ep, ep, never heard of that. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> never heard of that. It's from Whole Foods. Yeah, Bullshit. yeah we, that, yeah. I don't really smell good, though. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Shelto's correct. One, two for two. Two for two. This is the last one, but, brother. But you're breaking on the actual cheese Woo. selection, but one more here. Um, you can smell the Shelto. Mm, I look like fish. <laughs> Don't, don't forget the smell. Yeah, the smell is important. These gotta be forces. Mm -hmm. Woo! Sir. Anything else? Yes, sir. And the like a normal shoe. Like, I, I don't. I, I hope we got the it's cheese. It's not coated. Nah, this one ain't got no cheese, man. Well, All we right. have to fire an intern if that's the case. Right. There should be some goat brie in there. Goat brie? <laughs> yeah. You like a goat brie? No, nah, this smell like just shoe, man. It smell like foot. Air Force Ones. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, Hold sir. On. Something moving around, maybe. There might, I'm pretty sure there's uh -oh. some goat brie in there. Well, this is the best smelling cheese that I've. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. <laughs> No, I'm not really getting cheese. All right. No, you're right. All right. You like that one all for? Is that it? That's it. Boom. Wow. Yes, sir. We are. Yes, sir. You think you could have did that? Uh, <laughs> the shoes, yes. Um, the actual I cheese part, um, I'm not super confident in my, but. You know what? I don't even know why people say that. I don't even, I haven't even really fully grasped the whole cheese thing culture, out there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, it, it is, it's, it exists. Absolutely. People talk about it a lot. Cheese curds is a big thing. Yeah, they love, cheese, love curds. cheese curds. You know the, the good way, the way to know if you got good cheese curds, if you talk. bite it, it got to like squeak. squeak. It's like a squeaky whistle. Squeaky cheese. We yeah. Oh wow, it's squeaky cheese. Yeah, yeah, squeaky cheese, come on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Can you explain, to, like how do you get a Nike deal? Like how did, how's that work? How did it come about? Yes sir, if you can talk I, about I, it. I was just talking about this yesterday actually. I feel like where you went to school has a lot to do with where you if you when you sign as you leave uh, and go to the league. Mm -hmm. So usually Adidas schools, you go to Tennessee. I think they Nike now, but when I was in school, they was they was uh, uh, I think Josh Dobbs was the quarterback over there, and then you go over and they, volunteers, they, right? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. 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 So Wisconsin I, I, I feel like Adidas they got school? yeah, yeah. They, they they the schools or the companies go after players harder. I feel like okay. if they if they wore that before because they feel like it's more realistic. Yeah. Sometimes right, right. to illegal extents, if we remember that. Big Absolutely. But so, how did you end up inking your contract with Nike? Well, my they they wanted me, and I was I mean I've been a Nike guy my whole life. Is mm -hmm. Nike's always easy peasy. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it was a no brainer for me. So, uh, and, when then, was that? and then the numbers made sense. My rookie year. Yeah. Yeah, coming out. So I signed with them like right before my the start of my rookie season. And then and how many like, years you been in the league now? This about is, to be six, man. <laughs> How's it feel, man? Six, it's just flying by. It's crazy. Nice. It, it don't feel real. They I mean, still haven't offered me a deal. Which is just, <laughs> they got to get right. So, so what you got on your feet right now? Well, I mean, listen. Is, see, there it is. I'm trying to really put it in the bag, don't mean man. To you. You, this guy. You wear a lot of Nike stuff. But we also see on your Instagram account, you know, you do wear some high fashion shoes and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, what can you get away with when you're signed to Nike as in terms of, like, what you wear? Literally, I mean, the competition, stuff that I didn't even know. I was on my bachelor party, and I posted a picture wearing some Vans, thought I was straight. They got on me for that. Really? Like, yeah, because Nike, Nike is skateboarding. 
Yeah. So. Mm. Cause we saw we saw some photos of you um, when you were a Nike athlete wearing some Yeezys a couple times. Yeah, that was man. Yeah, that I, they they got in my ass for that. I'd like go over that. They didn't, they didn't like it. Well, uh, you didn't take it down. It wasn't, it, was, it wasn't that serious to where you were like, let me delete it. I may have to go back after the episode. I think I may, I may, I may, I think I was supposed to. Okay. And then they just got, I mean, that's kind of how my, my coach told me I'm supposed to wear the, the seven studs, the detachable right. on Lambeau Field. Okay. But I, I wear molded. I wear the, it's a little less uh, surface area. Yeah. It works so for you. It works for me. Right. And then at one point he just said, I'm going to stop saying something to him about it. I think it's the same situation yeah. with Nike. Well, how do you feel about how strict the NFL footwear guidelines are? Do you feel like it's in the right place right now? You can get away with a lot of stuff in terms of customs. They, they're they starting to crack down on that more. Okay. Every, everybody doing the customs. I think when Odell started doing the thing with, I uh, can't remember, I think Kikasso. Right. Yeah, yeah he did started the jokers doing and shit. Yeah, 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 doing all of that wild. That's what started. And you already know when, when Odell do something, everybody jumping on it. <laughs> oh, that's all right. So, which, I mean, that's the a show. dope idea. And then all these other people started doing it. So, I, I mean, I got into it. But then people start putting, they start getting kind of fishy about the logos. You ever get doing, fined? I done got fined plenty of times, but not for my, my custom cleats, though. Okay. 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 Who does your customs? Uh, Nike does it now. Yeah. So they do my special makeup. So whatever, what these dudes are out here doing, like the yeah. aftermarket, they make it, they build it. <laughs> Professionally. Into if you can say this, before Nike started, you know, really hooking enough way on the customs, yeah. who was like a custom guy that you really rocked with? Uh, his name, the, the company is called De Jesus Customs. From Chicago? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, you what's know up. Yeah. yeah, man, they, they, they used to take Shout care. out, man. Shout yeah. out. Shout out, shout out. To he might have just enforced me back in the day. No, I, don't quote me to that, but I know who that guy. They've been yeah. tight for yeah. years. Do you think the NFL should be fining people for cleats? Is that too far in general for the league to be? I mean, they fine for so much stuff. I feel like yeah. that that's one of the things that I wouldn't even trip off of. Yeah. They, I mean, I, my socks, if my socks fall down. Really? And they're down for a certain amount of plays, I'm getting fined. For real? Oh, well, the mean, long ones, the yeah. long socks. I, I had a oh. game winner against Dallas, and I, I threw the ball in the stand, $6,000. Dunked on the goalpost, twelve thousand. Can you wear Gucci socks? Is that cool? Because I know this guy's. Big. Somebody gonna get into that. Nobody did that yet. I'm surprised. And they make the long Gucci socks they too. Do. I got them. I they haven't do. worn them, but, but I got them. You can't do that. They, they want they want half team color, half white. Uh, so they, they want it a certain way. The way I do it is like this much white with a lot of green. Okay. You know okay. I, got, I, I pull my inspiration from Swag. Steve Smith and all of that. Right. Like, right. White lace. Why well, receiver Steve Smith? Stuff. Right. Yeah. Yep. Show them off when you're taking Steve Smith. How much? Yeah. How much do you think you've been fined over the course of your career so far? A lot of money. <laughs> I just told you the 12K yeah. for Duncan. Uh, 6K six for, for the bullshit, the other bullshit. So like direct deposit, you hit 5, their PayPal? 000. The good thing about it, they don't make you pay them. They just take it out. So oh, I mean, it, that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. It's the same yeah, thing, but you yeah, don't feel the yeah, same yeah, way about yeah, it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like if I had to write a check to the league, I'd be more pissed like, off. Like fuck you, Roger it. Goodell. Pretty much, pretty much, yeah. You're on record saying fuck you, Roger Goodell? Do we have that? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm on record. As far as fashion goes in the NFL, because I, you know, I, I'm really proud of athletes, you know, really becoming into their own when it comes to creative freedom and fashion. Who do you personally think is like the guys, you know, out of your, your ABs, your Odell's, your Cam Newton's, yourself, you know, like who is like the most Wait, fashionable? Wait, we think Cam Newton's stylish? Yes, because he's, his confidence is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't like everything he wears because everything looks like a costume. I want to hear your but, thoughts on Cam. I want to, after, after that reaction. Yeah, yeah. You think Cam Newton's stylish? Little the, pork pie hat. In in the pork pure meaning of the, the word, he he's stylish, but it's not my style. But I'm not gonna hate on the man. I mean, I was a little bit hating when the rompers came out, but that's rompers I mean, was tough. You're not on the romper way. The rompers was tough, bro. I'm, the romper well, no, no, I have romper. in the closet right Wasn't now is so called? crazy. You yeah. got one? I, well, I mean, what color is it? I had it before the whole wave. Like a military. Oh, so you started your garments. Oh. I mean. Wear one on the show, motherfucker. Hell, you talking about? I'll bring it. I'll, Wear a romper on the show. So you telling me you man. got this and then and then you just uh, nightlight, boom, romp, easy. romp them. Easy. Okay. So, so who do you think is the most versatile, stylish Thank guy you. in the NFL now? The league. I got a, a few of my boys is like like you got people like Diggs. Diggs okay. dressed like he from New York. Uh, Minnesota Diggs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He got it. He got his own little swag. Like, oh, which really, we actually. Uh, these were these these were made by Mosh and were they actually he when he wore the SpongeBob cleats by who Mosh the the sneaker customizer oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he actually uh, made the he made these shoes for us but he made Diggs's uh, SpongeBob cleats oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, right after that. okay yeah <coughs> oh man he had to still there. got the cough good yeah you still got the cough man <laughs> probably that cheese I got that, the cheese. that cheese <laughs> that cheese I got the, I got the drip. <laughs> What do you mean? Anyways. Uh, Ooh, that sounds bad. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that sounds bad. You definitely that need to go bad, to the doctor. Boy. You definitely need to go to the doctor. <laughs> yeah. That's, you like Odell's style, though? 
Oh, oh, got swag. Yeah, he he come through. He kind of he he revolutionizing stuff. Like I feel like what he did with with Supreme. I, I honestly think that he got like a lot of dudes in the league on Supreme because he got Supreme's you on Supreme. Been or? He didn't get me. I, I've been knowing about Supreme for. I've been I've been a fan. I used to skate in high school. Okay. So I've been, so nice. I, Matt Wealthy yeah. as well. I don't oh, know if you've seen don't it. let him yeah. pull out the skateboard right oh, now. You got he, it. That's he, why I can see the look. He's like, he's like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. what do you do? What do you do? Are you sure? Like, it's going to be kind of hard for him to get shoes in Cleveland, though, right? I don't know, man. With, with Buddy, he, he kind of got that power. He got that. Yeah, they, they'll get to him. Speaking of places that are hard to get shoes in, though, what's it like getting shoes in Green Bay? Well, my Nike situation helps that out. Uh, if you didn't have that. If I didn't have it, it would be Just dry clothes, fuck. period, everything. I mean, Chicago, like a three-hour drive, okay. so it's, mm. it, it's also, not that bad. The packages are, are pretty steady. The package, they keep them coming in. I'm on a, I'm on a certain seating list now where they, they take care of you, boy, and I get, I get some pretty exclusive. Good. Stuff. So you get, like, off-white? On list, or? I think it's one more, but... There was like, like they said I could give it to like anybody, so I, I just picked like some random person. Good, yeah. nice, beautiful. Um, Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, you know, he was on Nike before. A close friend of yours, teammate, yeah. switched to Adidas. You ever try and bring him back on board? Nah, he he he's one of them. I think he's trying to convince himself right now because he got a big thing where he knows the swag that I have. So everything he says is about me not having swag. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you think Aaron Rodgers got swag? No. He doesn't. He doesn't. Right, right, right. So he <laughs> downplays your swag because he know you got the he drip. He had a little bit when he was with Nike, and then he went over there, and now, now you know, he, he see the cleats I come with. I see him as I walk past his locker to go get my towel. I'm going to grab my towel and kind of peek at him. He in his playbook. He looking. He's like, just looking at my cleats like, damn, I wish I had them cleats right there. Come on back to Nike, man. Come back to Nike, man. Uh, come what, on, what man. About, what about Brett Favre and those Wrangler ads back in the day? Did that do anything for you? <laughs> Did you come by and see I, what's up I see guys? him every now and then. Yeah, okay. I, see, I see him every now and then, man. Yeah, him and, him and Aaron got a little connection, so I see him That's when cute. coming around. But, yeah, I don't know about the Wrangler ads. <laughs> Monte, every week here on the show, we punish somebody who said the worst thing last week, and we make them take off their shoes and wear something terrible. This week, it is me. And I was actually trying to get Trinidad for saying something, and then it kind of backfired. FS on Army. Me, What'd you say? Well, he said something about kicking it off, and I. It sounded like a pun to me. Designers, like, people are getting their shoes. Like, you know, you kicked it off as far as somebody that, is that a doesn't pun? do sports. <laughs> that was a good one. Worst take, right here. There it is. All right. It sounded like a pun. He, he basically, uh, you know, I'm, I'm undefeated ooh. with this right here. You know I what I'm saying? You got so, it one time. You got it once because you showed up like what an hour late to our live show. <laughs> This is a shoe that, uh, this is the Mizuno Wave. That's not wave. that bad to me, I don't know. This is something that, uh, What's Brendan, he gonna wear these next week? Brendan would actually wear these. <laughs> Bro, that looks like some of the Gucci shoes and tomorrow. some of the stuff they put That's a big now, fact. Now, right? That's a big fact. Well, that's a drop. We showed up in this exact shoe. Shout out to Big Quee. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I worked <laughs> out to Miss Guthrie. <laughs> Fuck you, Miss Guthrie. <laughs> when I worked at, uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, they said if I sold 10 pairs of Mizuno shoes, it'd give me a free pair, and they never fucking gave me the shoe. Wow. You sold 10? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> this is a real seller right here. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us in the comments who had the worst take this week, and we'll punish them next time. As I put these so, Devante, check me out. On this on the show, we do a segment called Drip, Flip, or Skip. And drip being, it looks good. Yeah. Flip, it looks good, but you want to rock it, you'll sell it. Yeah. Resell it. Yeah. And skip. We don't fuck with that. Miss them. All right? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get into this, I need to ask you a question real here quick. Here it goes. Here. Have you ever resold sneakers? I have. Uh, it was that was more of my starving college mentality, but now I, I just hold on to everything. All right. So moving back into it, the first shoe we got is the Game of Thrones. Uh, you a Game of Thrones player ever? Look at that show. Um, He's not even allowed to comment on these shoes. He's like, man, get this. All right, so, okay, boom. The Game of Thrones times Adidas Ultra Boost. Drip, flip, or skip? Starting with you, sir. We don't have to skip it, man. We don't have to skip it. We can move reasons. on, Brendan. For obvious reasons. Contractually. <laughs> yeah, Brendan. This, this is a skip for me, too. This would have been hot like two years ago. Uh, I, this, this doesn't do anything. I don't, I've never seen an episode of Game of Thrones either, so. Mm, disgusting. Yeah. I think I saw like two episodes of Game of Thrones, and that's drip flip a skip, sir. It's a skip. These shoes. This is like way too obvious. I know like people are gonna buy it because like you, they nerd out for this shit. But <laughs> I want. I, lo I love Game of Thrones fan. Right? I love Khaleesi. Okay. I love Khaleesi. This uh, is a skip though. They they, they fucked up. Adidas, what the fuck y'all doing, man? <laughs> Wake up. Skip. Moving forward. Ooh. The Jordan 720 Proto Max. This is like a new thing. This is the Amarnir shoe too, right? Not well, the same model. The, the model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. This drip flip a skip for you, Demonte. I feel like it may be some value in it, so we may say flip. I, I couldn't rock it. Okay. You don't. You don't. Re, you would never resell any of your uh, stuff that you get in the packages. Try and make a little extra bread. 
the bag is straight, so I just, you know what I'm saying, I'd rather just hold on to it because I don't want to get or rid of it. Or give it away. Yeah. Like, yeah. here you go, homie. So I did that I, I told, I did that in college when I left. I just yeah. tweeted out and told, come to this corner, and I got a bunch of shoes. Everybody came yeah. over there, and I just dumped, like, about 50 pair of shoes on them. Respect. Yeah. Good job. Brendan, drip flip or skip? Um, this is so close to a drip for me. Uh, I'm not going to be influenced here. I did get a free pair in the mail, so that's not enough to just qualify it as a drip just because, but I think it's the right direction for Jordan Brand in terms of new shoes, I'll say that. So Very it's close, a, what is it? still a skip. That whole like ripple thing around there, yeah. like, I don't know, it looks like women's undergarments and it throws me off. Every, when I saw it in my head, when I saw this shit in my head, I can't, un, no, I can't unsee it. I don't know why I get it. I, see what he so it's a skip, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah now I can't, no, but once I saw it, now I can't unsee it and I just can't like that, like. They kind of remind me of Smoking like a real pervert. <laughs> What's your flip or skip? Yeah, skip. The slant, like, yeah. Skip. Moving forward. <laughs> Supreme tailwind. Um, Devontae, how you feel? Drip, flip, or skip? I'm going to have to do that. I'm gonna drip to, it. I'm going to have to drip. Yeah. Will they send you the Supreme Nike shit too? or? They need to, especially after they see this. Uh, right. Think, send my boy, all of us if you want to, I'll, but I'll I'll send like my it. boy, yeah. you know, tailwinds. Package right? deal, man. All right. Come on. All right. Brendan? James Jebbia, come on the show. Uh, this is a skip for me. I think we said it when we were talking to 2J's Kicks. You ain't it's, messing with this one? Uh, no. I don't know if the shoe is ever cool. I'd, it's a lot more silhouettes I'd rather see. Supreme. So skip, right? Yeah, skip. I actually well, do well, like it. Um, I told you I I yeah. don't think it's a shoe that I would personally wear. Right. But I do I do think it's a drip overall. Okay. okay. Um, it's a flip. For me, it's a flip. We do outfits here also, Devontae. We're gonna start off with <clears throat> But do you, you see a little bit of similarities between the two of them? That's what we really People want. always tag me in, in photos of Aaron Rodgers. It's they the really, It's the stash. But also the kind of dead look in the eyes. The eyes is definitely, right, right yeah. there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like you the Yosemite A real, real stale look to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you could is. like talk to him, like, I don't know, some type of like body double thing, or if he ever needs, like if he's doing a movie, like a stunt double. Like, he already got a uh, look alike. Fuck, are you? Some some like scientist from like a dip from like Australia or some shit. Oh, wow. Yes. Practices, like, he didn't like get they, my they end up getting linked up because of that. Wow. Yeah. This is Drip Flipper Skip for you. Uh, he gonna watch the show. Aaron, watch the show. And come on the show. Drip. Yep. <laughs> he gotta throw that ball to him. Drip. Drip. This is <laughs> Brandon. This, this is a drip. He owned this one completely. This you know the story behind the, the Gene situation. Tell me. They do that every like they do something crazy with Gene every single time we have our like a uh, Packers welcome back luncheon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got like a bunch of people that pay to come and have a little like twenty minute uh, little lunch. Lunch with, with the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we go in there and, and we all got to get suited and booted. Go in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Everybody got their suits on. All right. And the quarterbacks just do their own little wild little jean thing. He had jean shoes on. It's a beautiful, beautiful. thing. Jean that's, cowboy. That's hat. where that's where the drip came from. When I seen the jean shoes, it just trumped everything else. Yeah. I wasn't really right. worried about. Too I was gonna say drip, and then he told me he had denim shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Mr. <laughs> Rogers. You killed it for me, man. So, skip. Damn, it's the drip. Moving forward, we got our, we got the man of the hour. The man of the year. But let the, the man let of the show. show. He's got these Air Force One connoisseur. He's got the Comme des Garçons hoodie on. How, yeah. Where did Robert Kraft get a Comme des Garçons hoodie? I'm, I want to know how. Man, Meek put him in all of that. Is, is Meek, that what it was? That's, that's, Meek, that's, Meek, that's Meek outfit. That was at the bowl, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meek, Meek threw him in all of that. Is that Cardi Meek B with him, right? That's Cardi B, right? Yeah, that's Cardi. Man, I'm rocking with Rob right now, man. Yeah. I, th I, th I think he's dripping we in drip. more than a few drips. Yeah, yeah he's dripping. <laughs> that's a big, big drip. Okay. Yeah. Big drip. Big drip, Rob. Big drip, what you call it. Hey, Brendan. The geriatric drip. Drip flipper skip, um, Brendan. That's a, that's a skip. Oh, my God. Uh, this is why the white car got to stop. The man. CDG hoodie was, was too much. Wait, for you? Oh, I mean, it's a throwback, it's, huh? every, every, No, but everything, everything aside, I do, think, I do think that's a drip. Oh, it's a drip. It's drip. Okay. Drip all the way. Now, a real oh, outfit oh, here. Mm. Okay, take, take me down. Take me down this right here. Set up the mood board on Set this up. Set this up. First off, first off. We got off. the Bur the Burberry. First I'm off. pregnant. Take a picture with my girl. Yo. <laughs> we got to take a match This is the hey, it's my birthday shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I but but you see the hair. You know that this was a long time ago. Right, what hair? The, these these shirts are out of my closet at this point. <laughs> and they should be out of all of your goddamn closet. No, Burberry's Every, killing everybody, it right now. It don't need to be what? <laughs> no, they're not. Come Burberry on, came man. back. They not, got not I love Burberry, but B like that little colorful like shirt, like the, they got yeah. Ricardo Tishi doing it. No, I'm sure you, you can go get Burberry? you a trench or something. Yeah. So this is the birthday. This is the birthday. Yeah. Yeah. This was the birthday. This was Tell like my 20th birthday. Twentieth birthday. What? The jeans was might have been Levi's, bro. I was in college. Oh, okay. This, okay, this yeah. college. Oh, yeah, you thought it was a league right here? College nah, buddy, Burberry. We got, right. And we Ferragamo with the kicks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? That's what improper benefits looks like.
That was that's a birthday fit. That was all gifts so to this, me right there. This, man. Drip, this drip flipper skip. This drip flipper skip. Man, that was drip. Okay, it's okay. A, but the jeans too big, man. That's that's what it is. That's Brandon, what it is. Drip flipper skip that's, on my boy. That's, here. A, that's a skip. We are gonna have to skip. I, I don't. I don't, I don't blame you, yeah. dog. Wealthy. I paid for it by the boosters. About seven fit, years man. ago. I appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah, it's a trip. I, I I fuck with Burberry. It's a trip. Y'all wrong. No, I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip. You know, I can't go for that. No. I can't go for that. You, you deserve better than that. <laughs> All right. Come on, man. We can't okay. do that. Uh, before we get out of here, we want to read off some comments in the comments section to see what the people across the internet have been saying about us. So Hopefully we have great some things. Hopefully from the YouTube as I spin this around and find it on here. First one here is from Cyclops336 saying, Sneaker Cam is sick. I like the show more and more every week. Thank you, Cyclops. There you go. Thanks, Cyclops. Lovely. Um, DJ K Squall says Gucci Wealthy can't name four Barassia Dartman players from five years ago. F O H. <laughs> Calling out your uh, soccer hooligan status. Mm, they own them. Wealthy, did you know that Devontae once tweeted that he could never see himself going to a soccer match ever? Why'd you say that? Was that, a, a big, was that a real tweet? 2014. Have you been to one? I don't think I've been to one, man. Would you go? I mean, I think I'll go. I don't remember saying that. I said, sorry, not there, to man. pay. Like, we'll just there. go, but like, not, like, you know, I go. I don't know if Wealthy's upset by that or not, but you also said you were contemplating speaking in a British accent from now on, which is, I think, something that's uh, been in Wealthy's mind. Oh, as well, oh, so. oh, for sure. <laughs> he is the Eurostep. Uh, Josh Helix says, Brendan looks like a skinny, slobby Robbie. Is Slobby Robbie, is that like a sex move or is that a person? No, no, Slobby Robbie slobby? has his own show. Shout out to my boy oh. Slobby Robbie from Arizona. You oh. should watch it sometime. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, slobby Robbie, uh, complex fan. We love it. Come on the show. Sasha here saying, real legit question. What response is Welty looking for with that long pause after the guest answers his resale question? <laughs> Welty, do you have? He just wants the truth. Whether they admit it or deny it, is there's a super long pause, then he goes, all right. I'm legit curious what he's looking for. Matt Welty doesn't know what he's looking for. Uh, last, last comment here, we have Lawrence saying, I look forward to watching new episodes, so I subscribe to Soul Collector because I really want JLP to take you guys sneaker shopping. Wouldn't we love for that to happen? Oh. Joe, take still, a shot. Still waiting for that to happen, but definitely do subscribe and watch on the Invite Soul Collector. Sneaker shopping, which is real for the record, right? No yes. matter what other people say. Yes. Devante, thank you for coming through. I appreciate y'all, man. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. I am your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Dad. Tell you goes, we'll see you next week. Woo! She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. Yo, better late than never, but it finally came. We got the clack. What's that silver shit? 100K subscribers. That's cute. This is amazing, dude. You're hyped over 100,000 subscribers? What do you mean? That's nothing. It's, it's a big moment for the brand. I get to start my own channel and get 100,000 subscribers. You don't want a million? I'm not trying to touch that shit to this all go. Okay, You're, you guys, we need more subscribers. Subscribe now or Joel Puma will never take us sneaker shopping. I'm at a dress like Welty. Back to being the common folk. Nobody wants that. It's not pretty. I already lost my Gucci sock. They're gonna fire me. If we don't get more subscribers. That's actually true. Subscribe to the show or they're gonna stop sending me Spezzy Owl. Subscribe to the show so I can keep flexing on you niggas, man. You see these goddamn kicks on my feet? That niggas don't want no smoke. Just, just hit the button. I mean, God, how much? How much